Give it up for Dan Burmeister! All right, now you guys feel good? Yeah! Yeah! Good. Uh, first off, I just uh, want to get this fucking thing straight. I should just run up the bat and apologize for this ridiculous shirt, shouldn't I? Look at this freaking thing. What was I thinking when I put this thing on? This shirt says like I'm like I'm 23 years old. I work out. Probably got like a piercing or something. Doesn't say 39 year old with giant man boobies. But I'm making it say that. Just for the birthday girl back there. <laughs> But I used to have uh, fitness goals. I love when people laugh at that part, just that I once had a fitness goal. But when I was like 18 years old, I just wanted to be in like good cardiovascular health. I figured that was a good fitness goal, right? Then I got into like my 20s, I was going out, I was partying and everything. I figured my fitness goal now, I just want to be under 300 pounds. That was a fitness goal, right? Now here I am, I'm like gonna be 40 soon, right? My only fitness goal now is, I just don't want to lose my feet to diabetes. <laughs> That's my only fitness goal. I don't care about like abs or triceps. Feet, I only want feet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but my mom's always bugging me about my weight. She always wants me to lose weight. So she always buys me all these like fitness gimmicks, these fitness aids, you know? She got one of those uh, exercise balls. Flatten that friggin' thing right down. No worries. <laughs> She'll give me all these like stupid DVDs with these like buff people hanging upside down, doing like crunches upside down, all this stuff. I can't do any of that stuff. They need to make like a fitness DVD for like the morbidly obese people. You put the DVD in, the host just kind of shuffles out there, just. <sighs> Thank you for buying my fitness DVD. We're gonna blast right into this workout. The first exercise, rocking back and forth, nice and slow. Feel the burn. Ooh, that's getting my heart rate up there. That's gonna bring us to our first pulse check of the DVD. To check your pulse, just mash your hand down into your neck fat. I'm sure you got a 485, 520 beats per minute. It's perfectly normal. <laughs> but anybody uh, in the audience date fat dudes? Any girls like fat dudes? <laughs> Not one. Just in case any of you do, but you're, you're afraid to admit it, I just wanna put this out there. My nickname is 350 pounds of jackhammer ass. <laughs> I just want to put that, I want to plant that seed in your head, okay? Uh, that didn't work. But, but I'm, uh, I'm only dating fat chicks now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, birthday girl. <laughs> only dating fat chicks because I hated dating skinny chicks, like my skinny girlfriend. Skinny girls always want to do crap, you know? They always want to go places and things like that. I used to hate that call to my skinny girlfriend. Just call her up and be like, hey baby, what do you feel like doing tonight? You want to go on a nature hike? You know they just opened a Chili's in town, right? You know, hike over there and get some fajita quesadillas or something. <laughs> but now that call to my, uh, my big fat girlfriend as I love when we call her, uh, that call is just a much better call. Just give her a call, like, hey baby, what do you feel like doing tonight? You want me to come over and eat fudge all night? Awesome. <laughs> Don't forget, we gotta get up to go to that sleep apnea convention. <laughs> That's if we wake up, that is. <laughs> but now that I'm dating a bigger girl, I thought there was like certain things I would never have to hear again. 
Like you guys probably all heard this tonight when you were getting ready. What's that one question your girl always asked you before you hit the town, right? Do I look fat in this? Do I look fat? And of course they don't. They're skinny. They don't look fat in it, but they always ask you, right? So now my big fat girlfriend, I figured I'm never going to have to hear that again. It's way worse. She'll be getting ready. She'll be looking in the mirror. Hey, Kenny, baby. Do I look morbidly obese in this? Yeah. No, no, just fat, just fat. I love her though. But uh, I'm going back to school now. Anybody going back to school? Birthday girls going back to school, good. The rest of you are losers, dead end losers. Going back there, yeah. But I'm going back to school, I'm going online. Which is like the, the big thing, the big rage now, online schools, right? But I don't think they really thought online schools through, especially for dudes. Because whenever I'm doing my schoolwork, porno is always just a click away. <laughs> <laughs> How can I concentrate on my American history class with Brazilian beavers just a click away? You laugh way too quick on Brazilian beavers. <laughs> Dot com. <laughs> so the problem is, like most dudes, every like you know 10, 15 minutes, we take a porn break, right? So I'm going back and forth, you know, like schoolwork, porno, schoolwork, porno, schoolwork, porno. Now all the information is starting to like melt together into this alternate universe of information. Like the other day I submitted a paper on the, uh, the Boston Tea Bag Party. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently that didn't happen. <laughs> but I'm also, uh, I've been uh, Googling a lot of porno. Surprise. A lot of porn. I like Google a lot of porn, right? But I'm starting to get a little nervous because they're saying the uh, the government's going to be able to see our Google histories. So I'm thinking I just got to stay a few steps ahead, you know? Throw a couple of nicey nice Googles in there to keep them off my scent. I'll just be there Googling porno, just, you know, porno, porno, porno. Volunteer opportunities in my community. <laughs> then right back at it, you know, porno, porno, porno. How to nurse an injured bird back to health. <laughs> All right, everybody, that's my time, everybody. Great time tonight. Thank you very much.